we were at this location in December when we were here last in Kelowna and we tried looking for this one but it was freezing cold. Whew. Sure is beautiful but man is it ever cold. It's winter in Canada. Yeah gotta get the cash no matter what. Let's go. It was minus 25 degrees Celsius and the snow here was about two to three feet deep and we were just not prepared to get the find and we of course we didn't get it so now we're going to see if we can get this one because it's a blue frown on our maps and we want to clear that off to a bright smiley face i don't have it that far over i got a one Looking for rocks that have been placed by man that are obviously not by nature. And I don't know, we're not seeing it. No snow, it's a lot warmer, uh, but this one's still getting the better of us. And it happens, sometimes you just can't find the geocache. But I won't tell you how I really felt. <laughs> So DNFs happen and that's okay. We're at the last stage of an adventure lab at Hardy Falls and it looks pretty cool. And there's a geocache there. So we're gonna see if we can get that one. Let's go take a look at this beautiful waterfall. From the information board, we got the answer to the last stage of the adventure lab we needed. And now, we can just enjoy the waterfall. With our waterfall viewing complete, we sat down and we figured out the puzzle cache which was a cute little poem about a troll and he needed to gather some information including the number of planks on the seat and the number of bridges that we crossed so we think we've got the coordinates right after a false start and a little bit of arithmetic error arith arithmetical error so we're off to see if we can get the trolls treasure We're pretty sure we had all the coordinates and everything right, but I think the uh, the troll has eluded us and we can't come up with a find. Well, she's still searching and we ain't getting it. Oh well, there's more geocaches to find. There's lots of them out there. Geosense is all that's needed, the hint says. And it's telling me that it's inside somewhere, but we're sticking our heads up there and coming up with nothing. Looking all over up inside here, and we just can't see it. And, uh, oh, wait, I think I found it. Check this out. Check this out, yeah. Flip that over. The cache is called No Hunting. Check this out. Boom, there it is. So uh, there was a giveaway photo in one of the logs. So we had something to go by and just a matter of kept looking and- Yeah, I had to keep looking. And you saw that little silver thing too, and I did too. They're on telephone poles and- A lot. Yeah, so, but just persistence paid off. That was a darn cool one. Wow.
Love it. Excellent. Worth a favorite point. Yeah. Back in Kelowna, it started to drizzle a little bit, but that's not putting us off. And we're attempting a where I go cache for a rating we don't have yet. And just like Maltese that we've been avoiding, we've been avoiding where I goes as well, because they find sometimes we can't get the cartridges just to work or to load. But this one, we're successful to at least load it on one of our phones, and we've gotten most of the way through it so far. Got it. Even in the rain. Yep. It was a beautiful walk in the downtown area, seeing all the statues and the site. And we actually were able to complete the where I go. Even though I couldn't load the cartridge. Yeah. And uh, it was right at the end, we thought we would miss it and not be able to get it because just didn't get the last hint. But it finally popped up and there it was. We got it. And that was a one and a half one where I go. Which is one that we needed because we didn't have a one and a half one where I go yeah. for our grid. So that's what we're doing is searching out grid squares from different icon types on the fizzy grid. Yeah. 